Hey, this is Brooke Drum with PrinterBot.com, and I want to welcome MyManyFactory.com to the PrinterBot.cloud app. So, we've got My Mini Factory pulled up. I want to show you how it works, but first I want to tell you the difference. You can already import models with Thingiverse on our PrinterBot.cloud, which is pretty convenient. But sometimes it's difficult to know if a file will print. Well, that's what's special about My Mini Factory. My Mini Factory actually tests these files. They make sure that they are going to print, that they are of good quality. It is an open platform. They were great to work with. Uh, we just contacted them and said, hey, we'd love to get your uh, whole repository on printerbot.cloud. And they said, great. And they did what we needed them to do. And now they have collections. So you can collect models that you want to print. And our cloud app will hold those so you can print them later, import them into our tools. But we're really excited about MyMiniFactory.com being on Printerbot Cloud. So let's check it out and see how it works, okay? All right, so I'm sitting down at my desktop. I'm just using a browser. It doesn't really matter. Um, you could do it on your phone if you wanted. But here we are, MyMiniFactory.com. Now, you will have to sign up for an account, which I've already done, and I've already logged in. So that does bring up a point that these connections are made between Printerbot.cloud and MyMiniFactory based on that, that login. So set that up first. Um, you'll come over here and it will ask you to you know, kind of connect the two. And so you'll need to do that. Um, once you do that, then the good news is you've got projects here and these are what we can choose from to send to our printer. And this is my mini factory collections showing. So uh, you can see here's the catapult that I downloaded. I've already uploaded, or I've already imported uh, 3D Benchy with the Lego bottom into my projects. Um, but we can watch how that works with this micro catapult. Now this is just kind of uh, peering into what you've added to your uh, collections. So if you go over here, loading collections, these are the different names of the folder. Save for later, fun, art. You can name those whatever you want. You can put whatever you want into them. But on fun, I want to import micro catapult into my projects on printerbot.cloud. So look, it's just click import. And what happens is it's going to, uh, the server in the cloud is going to render a little, you know, kind of like image that we use as a thumbnail. But then over here to the right, we've got a representation of one STL file. Now, uh, if you go in there, you can see how big it is, the resolution uh, that you've chosen. This is just standard, you know, standard, standard, which happens to be 0.1. So if you wanted that to be um, 0.2, I could change it to low. Um, there's some other options there, but I'll just save that. And then that will re-render or re-slice this. So anyway, this shows you a little thumbnail preview. And this is what we imported from my mini factory. So now I can send to printer. So really cool. So uh, again, the good news is this stuff is tested, guaranteed to print. So uh, play around with myminifactory.com, get an account, and uh, play around with your 2016 simple printerbot.cloud. Uh, we're going to build more tools um, that will join the family. Uh, so, so far we've got Thingiverse and now My Mini Factory. So, welcome. Thank you, My Mini Factory. I am stoked to have you in our app now. And uh, we appreciate all the work that you guys have done. Now, people go use My Mini Factory, buy a printer bot 2016 simple, and order better cords than I do.